me for various reasons. So, without further ado, this is Majestica by Brian Dalmages. It is not the same story. 
Uh, many band programs are really suffering. A lot of the kids quit their programs. They're dwindling in numbers. Uh, but for mine, it is quite the opposite. I mean, we have large groups, and these kids are really motivated to stay in band. Uh, and so I'm, I tremendously appreciate them, and they really have no idea how much I do appreciate them. I can't even put it into words. So, uh, But we're going to talk about our next song, uh, which is a really fun song. I've never done this song before. It's called Junkyard Jam. Junkyard Jam will feature some fun percussion instruments. Uh, you'll probably see them back there. They've got some buckets you would find from Lowe's. They've got some uh, metal trash can lids. They've got a giant trash can back there. Uh, I think we even have a brake drum uh, off of a, literally off of a car. Uh, but it features the percussion section playing some non-traditional percussion instruments you might see in a junkyard. So this is Junkyard Jam. next year to uh, participate in all region which I highly encourage them to do uh, and we'll talk more about that, about that next year 
But this year, some of these students signed up and they elected to do solo and ensemble. I want to recognize them uh, today. For solo and ensemble, they go in, they prepare a piece of music, or sometimes it'll be two or three people to prepare a piece of music, a, a trio or a duet. And they play in front of a judge, and that judge gives them a rating of a one through five. And it's kind of like golf. One is the best, and five is actually the worst. Uh, and all of our seventh grade students that participated in solo and ensemble got a first division rating, which is amazing, so super good. All right, so I'm gonna name them. Uh, our first was Callie Wright. You stand up. We had a duet by Campbell Corcoran and Darlene Dominguez. We had Tyler Gardino with a solo. And Jacob Hedgefield, Jacob Hedgefield for a solo as well. Thank you guys so much. They've done an amazing job. They stayed uh, during tutorials and they, uh, they played and they learned their music pretty much all on their own. I helped them out a little bit here and there, but man, they're real troopers and real independent practicers and they did an amazing job. So, round of applause for all of our solo and ensemble. Thank you. Next year, they'll have a chance, the eighth graders will have a chance to do solo ensemble as well. So if your kid didn't do solo ensemble and you'd like for them to be better on their instrument, encourage them to do it. Maybe make them, I don't know, hang an uh, Xbox over their head or something, I don't know. All right, <clears throat> our next thing, uh, next song we're gonna play is the theme from Spider-Man, arranged by Paul Lavender. I've said this in the other concerts, so if you're there, so I'm going to repeat what I said, but I do want to thank uh, a few people uh, that have really helped out with this concert. We've got uh, Mr. Rowan and Mr. Kane have helped out a lot in terms of uh, setting up this stage. Ms. Brown, who's not here with us because she had a baby, which is super exciting. Uh, she is not with us, but she's been helping out all year long. Uh, she's been a tremendous help with our classes and really helping these guys out. And then I'd also like to thank uh, our administrators. Uh, I know some of them are here tonight. They've done a fantastic job of supporting us. Uh, they make sure that we have pretty much everything that we need, and I greatly appreciate them and their support. Uh, and then I'd also like to thank, I, I know I see some teachers and some staff members out here. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Uh, these kids appreciate your support, and they love seeing you guys and your faces out here. They actually think that you live in school, so this is nice. They, they, you know, I'm just kidding. 
Thanks, Susan. Um, and then uh, lastly, I do want to thank uh, you guys as parents. Uh, I know that last year was difficult and starting a band and doing all these things, especially if you were used to band, you probably thought that the masks and all the stuff they were doing was absolutely crazy, and it was. But uh, I appreciate your support, and these kids have really hung in there, and they've done a great job. Uh, and so I can't thank you enough, and I can't wait to see what happens next year when we're in more of a normal year with these kids. Uh, and they deserve it. Uh, and I'm super excited to see how far they go uh, with their musical careers. So thank you so much. Students, give your parents a round of applause, please. Yeah. 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 All right. But we're going to close. Uh, this is one of the songs that we would have played at Brandon, uh, had we been able to do that. But this is Armory by Randall Standards. Probably one of their favorite songs. It's very intense. Uh, and it almost sounds like uh, we're in the forge of something being made in an armory. So this is armory. Thank you guys so much for coming out and have a, have a great summer.